Hey everybody, welcome back to CrossFlix where we talk about movies across all different kinds of genres. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my most anticipated movies for 2022. Let's get to it. We'll be doing this list from bottom to top. So at the bottom of the list is going to be Avatar 2. Avatar 2 is a movie that's been talked about since pretty much the first movie and it's either gotten pushed back or they're going to wait and make 2, 3, 4, and 5 back to back and they're supposed to release 4 years ago I think and then it's supposed to it was I don't I don't even know I can't keep up anymore so that's why this is at the bottom of the list I'm looking forward to it because the more that I do watch Avatar from 2008 the more I actually like it and I like the idea of going into the underworld and exploring that like the seas and everything especially because that's something we can relate to here on earth where there's a lot of the sea that hasn't been explored so it'd be kind of cool just to see that from an alien-esque standpoint next up we have Sonic 2 um, I would never really saw the first one and then I did just on a whim just tried to fall asleep to it and I actually kind of got into the movie and I remember just playing the Sonic video games at McDonald's. It was the only time I ever played them. So, and this movie actually looks pretty, pretty good for a sequel. So that's why this movie made this list. Next movie on my list is another movie that's been shuffled around mainly due to the pandemic, but it is Top Gun 2. There's going to be a lot of twos in this list. So 2022 is definitely a year for sequels, but Top Gun 2... I really like the first one. This new one looks really good. It's kind of upsetting that they've delayed it so many times when so many movies that are in the theaters have done well in the theaters, and I just don't understand why they keep pushing it back. They've done the same to the Mission Impossibles. Otherwise, those would have been on this list too. So, yeah, but overall, the movie does look good. I like the first one, and we'll see how it turns out. Going into the top 15, number 15 is going to be Elvis. Uh, this is a movie that I didn't expect to actually be into, and I saw the trailer the other day for it at the movie theater and it looks really good um austin butler i think that's how you say his name he looks like he does a really good job tom hanks looks completely transformed so and he always does a pretty good job so yeah um next that's next in line for the little biopics that they got that's become a pretty popular trend so looks interesting i'm not the biggest fan of elvis so i only know like the basic hits but i'm curious to see what they'll change in his actual true life story or if they'll keep it pretty consistent or if they'll go fictional with it or who knows what's going to happen but it does look good so i can't wait to see that one next up on the list we have bullet train i know it's a remake from a different movie in a different country i just don't know where and i don't want to say the wrong one so a lot of people were upset about that i believe when it first got announced and then but i mean i saw the commercial the other day the trailer it looks like a fun little movie so we'll see maybe they'll uh Maybe end up like combining them both at one point. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of like what they did with the Office shows. So who knows? I don't know much about the movie, but I am looking forward to it. It's got a pretty good cast in there. Coming in at number 13, we have Nope. That's Jordan Peele's next adventure in the horror franchise. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Get Out. I thought it was kind of predictable, but I did like Us. And I feel like most people's views are kind of switched on that or they either like them both. But I'm interested to see if there's something about this movie that makes like all of his movies connected. If he's going to try to do that or what but it does look interesting it does look i mean it doesn't look scary but i mean who knows there's not much stuff in that trailer they don't give away much but it does look good and i'm looking forward to it next up we have black panther 2 i feel like my thoughts are like most people's and how they just want to see how they're going to treat the character of t'challa and honor chadwick boseman what they're going to do with the mantle of black panther and everything like that there's been a bunch of rumors that the story was shuffled around and everything so that's why this movie isn't as high on my list because I don't know what to and what not to expect, but I, the first one was good. It was decent. I liked it. So I am looking forward to this next one. Coming in at number 11, we have Shazam 2, The Fury of the Gods. Um, they added a lot more to this cast, and I think they actually gave them a bigger budget to have a to have a more bigger scope movie. So, And I did like the first one quite a bit. It did remind me of Big, just like everybody says, along with the actors and the director. So I'm wondering if this is going to take inspiration from another different kind of like 80s classic movie so we will see moving into the top 10 at number 10 we have black adam um i've actually been excited for this one for a while like pretty much ever since it was announced black adam is probably i think he's a little bit stronger than shazam just as strong as superman but i also like that he's the anti-hero he's not a villain but he's not necessarily a good guy so i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do how it's going to connect to the rest of the dceu or if it's just going to be its own thing supposedly it's supposed to connect but with all the shuffling around that they've done recently at this point i don't even know anymore but i am looking forward to it the clips that have been shown are cool i can't wait to see pierce brosnan as dr fate i think he's going to be perfect for it and yeah so black Pan or black adam 
at number 10. Coming in at nine, we have Jurassic World 3. I'm looking forward to this one just to see how they kind of bring both the park franchises and the world franchises together. I was not a fan of Fallen Kingdom, but I did like the first Jurassic World. So I don't really know what to expect going into here, but I am looking forward to it. I like pretty much everybody in the movie itself. So, and then I liked uh, the, the middle one, Fallen Kingdom, was definitely a setup for this grand finale. So we'll see how it goes. Colin Trevorrow is coming back to direct. And like I said, I liked the first one better, and that was him. So hopefully it lives up to its expectations. Coming in at number eight, we have Thor 4, Love and Thunder. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Ragnarok, but I do like the laughs that it gives me, and there are some really good parts to it. And apparently this is just supposed to be like Ragnarok on steroids. So I'm I'm interested, and I definitely want to see where his character goes from being like bro Thor to getting back into like tip-top shape, like even more than it was before. I'm excited to see more interactions with the Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, how Christian Bale is going to do as a villain. I've never seen American Psycho. I know I need to watch it. But I would, I'm kind of excited to see what he's going to do with that villain aspect. So yeah, Thor Love and Thunder, number eight. Coming in at number seven is Lightyear. I'm actually really excited for this movie. Buzz Lightyear was one of my favorites growing up as a kid. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to take the story of what makes the toy the toy, I guess. Because I think this is an actual, I don't know if it's a movie set in the universe. That they're like, they're filming the movie within the movie. And that's what makes um the production for the toys or if it's like an actual astronaut in this toy store world i think it's a movie that the movie itself is making if that makes sense either way i'm excited for it chris evans is taking over the mantle as Lightyear, so it should be a good time number six on this list is a movie that's going to be coming out in just a short couple weeks and that is morbius i've actually been really excited for this movie ever again ever since it was announced in what 2019 now maybe 2018 i forget um but I do like Jared Leto as an actor. I like his music. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he's going to be the anti-hero. He was just a straight villain. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for him. So we'll see how this goes with him being Morbius. It's kind of annoying it's been shuffled around so much. But this last time, I understand why. The hype for No Way Home was still really high. Now it's kind of like died out just at the perfect time. So I think with his home release, if there's going to be any little cameos or anything in Morbius with the No Way Home release coming out this week, on DVD. It's going to be exciting for a lot of fans. So we'll see what happens. Going into my top five, at number five, we have Fantastic Beast and the Secrets of Dumbledore. Um, I love the whole Harry Potter franchise. I like the first two Fantastic Beasts movie. I'm curious to see what the secret of Dumbledore is going to be. I thought the secret was that, um, what's his name? Ezra Miller's character. I forget his name, but I thought the secret was that his character was a Dumbledore, which was revealed at the end of the last movie. So I'm curious to see what other secrets the Dumbledores have up their sleeves or what they're going to show, or if it's just going to be building upon the secret of the Dumbledore. So yeah, either way, looking forward to Fantastic Beasts. It comes out in just a couple weeks as well. And then at number four is going to be Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's the A24 multiverse movie. I really don't know too much about it other than the fact that it's a multiverse movie. I feel like that's become a very big thing ever since uh, Into the Spider-Verse came out. So, yeah, it looks interesting. It looks good. A24 always pumps out good good content. And I think it comes out next week, actually. So, I'm looking forward to it. Go ahead and give it a watch and let me know what you think about it. Number three on my most anticipated list this year is going to be The Black Phone. The Black Phone is uh, Scott Derrickson's next project since he dropped out of directing Doctor Strange 2 and I think he even said this is like a dream project of his own it looks super creepy it looks like a new and fresh idea and Ethan Hawke just looks terrifying in it so I'm really looking forward to it and I think it comes out in June my second most anticipated movie for this year is going to be Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse I love the first one the animation style was different and unique and I hope they bring that same aspect into this one as well as build on top of it and we have Miguel O'Hara, I think is his name, Oscar Isaac, Spider-Man. I think he's going to be, he's going to take like the Peter B role in this movie. And they're going to go everywhere. I'd like for them to bring in like Drake Bell's Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man from the 90s. That'd be so much, it'd be so cool if they brought all that in there. So yeah, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse comes out in October and it's part one. So Miles is going to get his own trilogy. Really excited for it. And my number one most anticipated movie for this year is going to be Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness. This wasn't as high on my list until the official trailer came out because 
I don't really know what to expect with these movies and I don't believe any leaks or anything. And some of the leaks that had come out, they ended up just putting them in the trailer. So if they were willing to put that in the trailer, I'm not going to say any spoilers. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But if they're willing to put that in the trailer, that just means they have so much more to show in the movie. So that's why this became my number one movie for 2022. Anticipated movie, not number one movie. We'll see how it is after it comes out. So yeah, that is it. That is my anticipated movie list for 2022. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below what your most anticipated movies are. Go ahead and let me know what movies that you've liked so far that you've seen and whether or not they were on that list before you saw them. So thank you for tuning in. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.